loves it's your girl april and today's video is going to be a really inexpensive wig by model model this one is called gina and i'm going to be doing one wig with two different colors so the first color i'm going to be doing is in a color number two which is just your basic medium dark brown color and then the next one is in the color of203 and this has a little spice to it kind of like hints of blonde brown and reddish toned into it so the color blend is kind of okay i'm not going to say it's my favorite but it's kind of okay so this one here is their deep side part lace front and it's more or less a hand tied part i will be honest to tell you there was no lace to trim off in the front but you will need to tweeze the part it is invisible however for me i do like my part to be visible so i went ahead and tweezed them both prior to the actual video so the first one i'm going to do is the number two and as standard it does come with the two combs however these combs are placed really close to the actual part and there is a comb and an adjustable strap in the neck so yeah let's get started with this video all right love so the first thing here i'm going to be using is my elf all over cover stick concealer in the color medium just to make this part look a little bit more natural it is really important to tweeze it because it is invisible and i'm not really sure if you want it to be invisible but i did want it to be noticeable so i'm going to go ahead and line my part with my concealer right now Let's go ahead and remove this wrap from my hair and as you can see the scalp looks a little bit more natural and get it situated on my head. Now first thing I noticed about this wig is the hair fibers are really like nicely textured. It's not silky straight. It's really like a nice texture. It kind of reminds me of African American relaxed hair. Now I'm going to pull out some of my hair in the front for a little bit of leave out for a natural hairline and as you see my edges are a little thin so I'm going to be using strand maximizer hair filler fibers. It's just like Topic. They look like tiny little hairs and this will make your edges a lot thicker or as well if you have any type of balding spots or balding then this stuff is really good. I like strand maximizer more because the coverage is a little bit more fuller. The fibers are a little bit thicker. So it's not a wet spray. It's actually dry and it looks just like tiny little hairs. So I didn't really apply a lot to this unit because I didn't need to but I'm gonna go back in with my concealer and finish up where I left off I like to go back and forth first some concealer then some of the strand maximizer and then some of the concealer again that is how I do it as for the strand maximizer I think it's like $20 I will post their information for you guys below as you've seen I did brush it out and I kind of like brushed it off um, so I will just reapply a little bit once I have the wig situated um, for small areas like in the front you don't have to pump the nozzle too hard just slight little pumps will get out a little bit of hair fibers if you have a bigger area to fill in that is when you can pump the um, pump nozzle a little bit harder but for small areas you just need to pump very lightly so like I was saying this wig is gorgeous it's a very classy wig and I'm going to also be using my 24-hour edge tamer by even New York this is the edge tamer I really love this stuff there are three different um, textures I think that's what you would call it but there's extra firm hold super and there's something else I can never remember when I'm doing a video but either way yeah just go ahead and brush this wig into style it's super easy it's kind of a classy wig it's great for like the summer heat that is about to strike us but for the most part this is a really really nice one by model model and let's just check out the finished look
Okay, so here is Gina in the color number two. I'm going to be honest and tell you guys this. I do like this wig a lot. You know, I really do too much of the short shoulder length here, but it really reminds me of this Kim K bob that I made like almost a year ago, and I really do like this. Also, the hair fibers are not all plastic-like, shiny-like, silky-like. They're in between like a silky and a yakky, so it gives like the best resemblance of like some African-American relaxed hair. The hair texture is really good. Like the fibers are really nice. Looks almost authentic, meaning like real human hair. Now, the cut and the style of it is very classy. This would be a great wig to wear every day, to the office, to work. Whatever. There are a lot of young ladies who I've seen wear this particular style, and I absolutely love it on them. So I do like this one a lot. This was really easy to put on, especially once you tweeze the part, you are good to go out the door. The cat was a little bit too big for me, so I did use a bobby pin. And also, I really didn't like where the actual combs were situated at. They're in such an awkward place. But yes, the color is gorgeous. It's a color number two. Every company has their different version of certain colors. It would look more or less like a 1B, but I love the loose wave, like the loose wave style in it. This looks like that Kim K bob resembles her 2AT that I made, swoop all. I really do like this one a lot. And I did use my Strand Maximizer hair building fibers, which just look like little tiny hairs, and it gives me some thicker edges. So if you have balding hair or you have thin edges, then I highly recommend this. It does not come with the spray nozzle. You will need to purchase that separately, and I will post the information below. But I do like this one a lot. I think it goes with the shirt. It looks like I'm going to work at the office or what have you. But now let's get on to the color OF203. I'm not really sure how I'm going to feel about this one because I really do like the dark color. So let's just give it a try real quick and see how that goes. So, I don't really know how I feel about this one. I will tell you there's a difference, you can tell. Um, this one seems to me a little bit shorter for some reason. It's cute as well, but the black one, the darker one, seems a little bit more well-made. I didn't even show you guys the back of the dark one, so let me show you this one here. For some reason, I'm thinking like the darker one just seems like it flows a little bit better. The hair is a little bit looser and longer, but it just is a, just made a little bit um, better. The color blend is gorgeous. It's a very pretty summer color, and I think it goes well with my complexion. But for some reason, I just like the darker one a lot better for this particular style. Now, as for the... Um, texture it's still the same feeling the same texture but overall this is really like a really nice classical style wig um you can wear this with just about any anything i would just highly suggest this one right here um the color though of203 is gorgeous though too i do like this color a lot as well so i'm kind of like undecided i like the black one more or the darker one more because it's a little bit longer in my opinion and it just flows better but I like this one for the color so I guess I would wear them both I would wear them both yeah, I will post all the information for you girls below and the necklace that I'm actually rocking today is from happiness boutique and I'll post their information as well it's always free international shipping so their items do come from Berlin Germany and they have like these beautiful statement pieces from the necklace to the earrings that I'm rocking I love them. So yeah, I will see you girls on my next video. Let me know what you think of these two wigs. Same wig, different color. And make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you girls and guys on my next video.